Hello YouTube family, I'm Theophilus, the author of three books, three publications. But my mission today is to tell you that knowledge is power. The Bible says, uh, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You see, the devil, see, I'm telling you about the devil, the devil don't want you to know the word of God. See, the devil's job is to keep us bound by just shouting, speaking in tongues, and the prosperity that you receive. The Bible say in Matthew 6, uh, 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 6, 6 to 6, and it say, and it say that, that uh, when we have the knowledge, right, he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto us. So the devil, see, the devil don't want you to know the word. I'm going to tell you why the devil don't want you to know, know the word. See, when Jesus Christ was tempted on the mountain, and that's in, in Matthew, the, 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 the third chapter, when Jesus was fasting, and by him fasting, see, the devil came with the, temp, the, the temptation of tempting him of to break his fast. So the first fast that, 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 that he said that turned the stone into bread. Now we know that if Jesus Christ turned the stone into bread, it was it would end his temptation. Now we see that how in the book of Genesis how the devil tempt Eve and Eve fell for the temptation by by seeing that the fruit was was desirous to eat and she ate it and she gave it to her husband and then sin hath entered into the world. So the devil know that that if he let Jesus Christ I break the fast. The fast would be would would, would be broken, and a, and J, and Jesus would be defeated. So Jesus Christ said, "Give give him the word of God, which is word of God was taken from uh, uh, Deuteronomy." He said, "A man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God." So so the word of God is the mouth of God. Each time we read the word of God, we are, we are we are listening. And we are hearing from God. See, the devil don't want you to know the word of God. The devil want the devil wants you to know songs. He wants to know no shouting. He wants to know the gossip of the church. But the devil don't want you to know the word of God. Each time the, the pastor gets up, up, up and preach, the first thing the devil do, the devil put us to sleep. Why do you do you think the devil put us to sleep? Because the devil know that. If you know the word of God, it was a study to show thyself a proof unto God, a work one that need rightly shame, rightly dividing the word of truth. So the more we know the word of God, the more power, the more ammunition we have for the devil. You can't cuss the devil out. You can't smack the devil out. You can't say, Satan, come out. You have to have the word of God. Now, Sivas have seven sons. And the demons say, Paul, I know and Jesus, I know who are you. So you are identified by the word of God. Each time we know the word of God, that gives us more ammunition for the devil. You can't, you can't cuss the devil out. You can't knock the devil out. You can't say, come out, Satan. I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ. You have to have evidence, word, to defeat the devil. So the devil don't want you to know the word of God. And it's sad to say that Jehovah Witness got something, something greater for us. They know their stuff. They know the poison that they have to poison the community by going door to door. So what we do, we we uh, don't witness, right? But we wait for Sunday to start to to, to start shouting, to start speaking in tongues, and to and receive God's blessing. But our job is the Bible says that he that win a soul shall be wise. But how can you win soul if you're not studying the word of God? How can you win soul if you are living contrary to the word to the world? The, the, the Bible says, Love love not the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in them. So each time we study exam, we give prime example. We we study the word of God and the devil will let us uh, uh, I want to use the bathroom. Our friends, our uh, call the text is on. Uh, I remember what to do. So, so we have no time to study the Word of God. And it's sad and 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 and, and very pitiful for people that have been in, been in been in church for so long and can't say the the Lord's prayer, 
can't say uh, Psalm 23, can't say uh, uh, Psalm 27. They don't, don't even know the word of God. So my message today to you is to know more of God's word. Why you are being defeated by flesh? Why are you defeated by, by the fleshly activity of Galatians, the fifth chapter? Because the Bible says, if you're sold to the flesh, you shall reap corruption. But if you're sold to the spirit, life everlasting. So the more you're sold to the flesh, you're going to reap corruption. You're going to keep on stumbling and falling. And, and, and you want to listen to the song, we fall down, we, we, we get up. No. The Bible says, unto him is able to keep, to keep you from falling and to present the fallers before the, with a, before with, with, with great calling. So, unto him, uh, what, Jude 24, unto him is able to keep you from falling and to present you fallers before the present with exceeding joy to only wise God the Savior. So, I know the Bible says, a righteous man falls seven times and get up. Yes, I know, but come on now. Ain't going to... Ain't, ain't, you, ain't you tired enough to keep on falling into sexual promiscuity? Ain't enough to, to be you tired to falling into fornication, to commit adultery, to lying, to stealing, to swearing, to lusting? See, 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 Job say, I make a covenant with my eye. I will not look upon the maid. Why did Job I make a covenant with her eye? Because he know that if he look upon the maid, the maid is fine. Right, the maid gonna blow his mind. So, so Job know that if you looked upon the maid, you are gonna commit adultery, because the Bible say that adultery not just when you get constantly getting married after marriage, but adultery mean if you have lust already in your heart, you have commit adultery. So if you don't know these things, how can you stand against what you don't know? So the more you study God's word, the more you intensely study the word of God the more power you re you receive you get so information is power so why people are powerless because they're not studying the word of God the Bible says study to show thyself approved unto God a workman that needed not be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth I'm not ashamed and the reader what the reason why people are ashamed because they're not studying the word of God. The more we study the, the word of God, the devil will de be defeated and we will receive more of God's goodness. See, prosperity doesn't make you know more God because a pimp can have a nice car. The pimp can have a, a big job. The pimp can have a big estate in California or, or in Bowie, Maryland. But I'm saying one thing the pimp don't have that we have, which is the word of God. See, the Bible said we are overcome by the word of God and by the testimony. So we are overcome by the word of God and the testimony. So each time we study the word of God, it gives ammunition to fight against the devil. The Bible says resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw not to God and God will draw not to you. Uh, uh, so so the more you, you draw not to God, the more you can resist the devil. So how do you resist the devil? You resist the devil by giving the devil the word of God. I know I know we have the Bible Bible, but 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 David say the Psalms say the word of I hid in my heart that I'm a sinner against him. Against who? Against God. So the more word we have, the more we can resist the devil. Resist the adversary. The adversary is the devil. The devil, the God of this world. See, the devil don't want us to know the word of God. See, Eve, Eve got deceived because she let the devil quote what Jesus Christ, what God told her. See, her husband told her first, and then the devil going to come back and tell her that, do you know if you eat this fruit, you should be like God's knowing good and evil? And the Bible say the woman desires the food knowing that was good for us, was pleasant, 
and good to be eaten. So, so if Eve knew the word of God, she wouldn't be deceived. If you know the word of God and you know what the word of God says, the devil won't come back and trick you with the word of God. See, the devil, the devil uh, 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 tried Jesus on in the wilderness when he was tempted. He said, this angel have charged over thee concerning thee. So the devil trying to trick Jesus with the word that was written. So be not deceived, my friend. No more word and you will not be deceived. More word, more power. Unto then, God bless.